All right, guys, let's talk today about a big important question. Do baseball players need conditioning? Big, big, big topic in the baseball world, in the baseball training world. Um, a lot of people, including uh, the players, strength coaches around baseball, uh, do not believe that conditioning is important for baseball players. Um, when I program conditioning into my, uh, my baseball players' programs, I sometimes get questions, well, why do we got this uh, to, to run and work for so long when the game does not play that way? And it's all uh, valuable questions, right? Uh, it all makes sense. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that today and um, see how it all makes sense and why um, baseball players do need conditioning. So there's uh, your answer for your question right there. They do need conditioning. Um, so, right. What are the demands of the game so let's let's start breaking breaking down a little bit the question and uh, analyze this a little bit more in detail and see why why that is okay so what are the what are the demands of the game uh when you play baseball plays lasting for about three to ten seconds and ten seconds is kind of stretching it there right you don't have too many plays lasting uh ten seconds or more uh during a game that might be like two three four times if that uh, but majority of plays is two, three, four, five seconds, and they're all like spread out apart, right? Long rest between bouts of effort, between between every pitch, between every hit, between every time you run the bases. There's long periods of rest in between that. So why condition? Why condition? If all, the the thing that matters the most is raw speed, raw power, raw strength, why do we need to to condition? Why um, why, why do we need to do that as baseball players to perform better if the sport does not require us to be well conditioned to have a good aerobic system? Um, so here's the why. Here's um, the things we're going to talk about and why it matters. So, um, you know, we printed one, one, one side of the coin here. You know, now we're going to flip the coin on the other side and, and see uh, what's, what's going on the other side of the coin and why it actually matters. Uh, the flip side, okay, so we have... A long season. Baseball season is extremely long. Uh, the pro level, we're playing uh, 162 games if you're in the majors, 140 games if you're uh, in the minor leagues in a full season team. Uh, that is usually about a game every single day uh, with a day of rest every two weeks or so, uh, which is a lot of games a lot of volume day in and day out um, long days um, for people who might have never been around baseball um, like close enough especially in the pro at the pro level uh, the guys have extremely long season they get to the ballpark at around noon for for a seven o'clock game at night and then there's uh, you know rehab training um, team warm-up on the field, batting practice, field work, extra work for the guys who need it, and then you have game time at 7, and then the guys usually don't leave the ballpark until 11, midnight, sometimes even later. So, and then that's that's the process they're repeating every single day. Remember, they're only having about a day off every two weeks or so. Uh, so, that, that's a lot. That's a lot of building of, of building up of of stress on the body. So and it's very taxing on the body because of the high velocity movement. So um, you might not be um, running for very long. You might not be exerting effort for very long periods of time. But um, those um, bouts of effort are very intense. Like swinging a bat is something that you know that that happens at a high velocity so it, it's taxing not on not only on your muscles but on your nervous system on your tendons on, on your tendons on your ligaments on the body overall so even though it's it's not directly taxing the um, aerobic system the the conditioning of, of the person or the cardio of the person it takes a toll on the body okay so um, it's just a lot of, of stuff building up over time and then you can clearly see when you're close to the game enough uh, over over time with the course of the season guys just start to get a lot more tired and exhausted towards the end of the season uh, a lot more 
injuries, a lot more aches and pains. Guys spend a lot more time in, in the rehab room. Um, so it's, it's just taking a toll on the body, right? So what all of this load on the body require? What does this require in order to perform optimally? And the answer is good recovery, right? You want your body to be able to recover as efficiently as possible, as well as you can, all the time, day in, day out. Um, and then there's a lot of different factors that are going to come into play with that. But a big one is going to be the efficiency of your aerobic system. Because the aerobic system increases blood flow. If it increases blood flow, you increases the speed at which nutrients are delivered to the muscles. And you have a more efficient heart. You can do all that work with pumping less, um, with, with, less beat, with less beats per minute, per minute at rest. So uh, those are going to be keys right here because that recovery process is going to happen a lot quicker. So because you have such a high volume over time, you want a good aerobic system. You want good blood flow. You want to obviously also use recovery strategies and uh, have a sound diet and sleep uh, habits that are going to support that. But uh, the aerobic system is going to be key in that. So a good aerobic system is, is one that will help you recover better. Um, and that's why in the end conditioning does matter for baseball players. So hope, hopefully that will make sense. So um, doing circuit type training uh, with lower intensities or, or going for a run or things like that, higher rep training, um, that's all stuff that can actually be super beneficial for baseball players because of, of, of right here what we talked about earlier is um, the toll that the, the season and game takes on your body over time. So once again, hopefully it makes sense uh, for all of you baseball players and fans out there. And um, I'll catch you guys next time.